Howdy folks. Um, two things tonight. One is I'm wearing the uh, nice clear hipster glasses that I actually got at a large home improvement box store in a pack of three. Um, but they were the ones at the top of the stack tonight. Uh, second thing is I hope you're hanging in there. I hope things are going well for you. Um, one of the things about spending a lot of time together as our little family has lately is that you find new forms of unity. You also... Um, you know, sometimes some fissures develop, and you got to work through them. And I chose this piece for that reason tonight. It's from Roughneck Grace. Sometimes a guy has to step forward and take the lead on the important issues of the day. And so I finally called a family meeting the other night for the purposes of discussing new dishwasher distribution directives. Some say I just stood there in my ugly pilled slippers and grumbled to myself while holding a dirty fork. As luxuries go, I rank automatic dishwashers right up there. Yeah, that's a period, Mike. You can stop talking at the end of that sentence. As luxuries go, I rank automatic dishwashers right up there. In part, this is due to a life lived largely without the appliance. For a brief time during my childhood, my mother had one, a big boxy model on wheels with a hose that hooked to the kitchen faucet. When it broke, Mom replaced it with us. This wasn't so bad because we had a large family, so there were a lot of off days in the rotation. For a single year after college, I rented an apartment with an automatic dishwasher and reveled in the simplicity of putting dishes in dirty and taking them out clean. During this time, I developed the preliminary elements of my pre-rinse versus post-rinse principles, about which more later. I also learned what happens when you put ordinary dishwashing liquid into an automatic dishwasher. As I shoveled suds into the sink with a cake pan, I swore I'd never make that mistake again. There followed a 15-year stretch of dishwasherless bachelorhood during which time I maintained a rigorous regimen of doing the dishes every time I found myself eating oatmeal from the gravy boat. Finally, I married, and we moved to a house with a dishwasher. This has allowed me to update and refine my dishwasher loading techniques. I've developed a few time-saving tricks, including the one where I load the silverware basket by shooting the utensils in handle first. It's like playing vertical darts or flatware mumbledy peg. And the upside is, rather than bending over to place every piece of silverware, you only have to bend over to pick up the ones that miss. Economy of time and motion, pal. That's the secret to good living. I also saved a lot of time by refusing to pre-rinse. Oh, you must pre-rinse, everyone says. Really? I chuckle. How perfectly backward. My studies show that over 90% of all dishes will clean up just fine without rinsing. That's a lot of superfluous rinsing. Wash first, and then you'll know which plates need rinsing. Yes, I hear you saying, but have you ever tried scraping egg yolk off after it's been baked on in the dishwasher? To which I reply, have you ever tried rinsing egg yolk off a plate? You'll end up hand washing it anyway. In our present situation, all four members of... Uh, in our present situation, all four members of our family share in the loading and unloading duties, which is to say it is impossible for me to ignore the shortcomings of the others. First of all, I observe frequent violations of the dish density factor, in which dishes of different sizes are racked in willy-nilly proximity, resulting in gaps and poor space management. Rigorous attention to uniform nesting ordered by ascending diameter and convexity, calms my nerves and soothes my nascent OCD, although the woman who steps over my dirty socks every morning finds my concern curious. Aesthetics aside, dish density also enables speed unloading, in which I grab up to eight plates at once and hardly ever drop any. If you still aren't convinced, the dish density factor can be defended strictly in terms of conservation. When there's more unoccupied space, the ratio of water used to dishes washed gets all out of whack, and somewhere, a penguin dies. I gave a speech about this during that impromptu family meeting the other night, after which I inadvertently filled the detergent dispenser with regular dish soap and discovered it is difficult to maintain a position of authority while shoveling four cubic feet of suds into the sink with a cake pan. 
See you later, folks.